And although this weekend's shooting at Roanoke's Valley View Mall turned out to be isolated, it had many shoppers running for their lives, thinking it might have been something much worse. And during that chaos, some positivity shined bright. 10 News reporter Shane Dwyer is live tonight. He's at the mall with the story of some of those helpers. Shane? Yeah, John, well, we now know two days later that this, of course, was an isolated incident and not a large scale act of random violence. But when it happened, people were thinking the worst. They were thinking it was an active shooter, and that led people inside the mall to step up and take care of each other, including some store employees who stepped up to protect a young man. While police swarmed Valley View Mall Saturday night on the outside, inside the mall, others locked down, having no idea what was going on. My name is Clint. Last name Colhoun. That includes Clint Colhoun sharing his experience with us through an interpreter. He's deaf and was shopping in Zoomies when he heard a bang through his implants. I didn't know what it was, if something fell or broke. And they say gunshot. Admits the chaos, store employees knew he was deaf because of his face mask, and they made sure he was safe. They say go to the back room. A woman steps, says go to the back room. And they pull down the front entrance door. Now, two days later, police say they're still working to identify the suspect, and the victim is still in the hospital with non life threatening injuries. Roanoke Mayor Sherman Lee says this is a new low for the Star City. We saw shootings and violent acts, but we never saw people going into places and with little regard for who's around taking violent action. Lee says following nearly two years of escalating violence, sentencing needs to be harsh so criminals get the message. And tonight, Colhoun has a message he wants to share too. I want to thank the people at Zoomies who work there for helping me keep me safe in the back room and thank you so much. Now, of course, business back here at Valley View is back to normal tonight. Roanoke City Manager Bob Cowell said in a statement that over the last year, they've changed the police department to better respond to these types of incidents. That includes reassigning officers for better responses and continuing to leverage that gun violence task force. Live in Roanoke, Shane Dwyer, 10 News, working for you.